know. I can't believe the title either, but it's true. They let me fly out again to record even more Sparking Zero footage for you guys. And of course, it just came at the cost of a very impromptu flight to Anime Expo. <clears throat> I'll never financially recover from this. But it doesn't matter. It was worth it. I love this game. I love recording Sparking Zero. And I recorded a ton of footage for you guys. Both direct capture, like the footage you're seeing now during this intro, and footage on just my iPhone to make sure I capture even more in detail stuff. I will say, though, it was more impromptu, so it ended up not recording the sound on any of the direct footage. So I'm very sorry about that. But maybe if this goes well enough, they'll let me come back out and record even more on a newer build. I don't know. That's, this is what I'm saying, though. I, I don't know. Definitely make sure to leave a like, comment, support the video in any way you can so that they know people like seeing this stuff. Before we jump into the actual HD footage, I did want to show you what I was trying to focus on more in this session, and it's combos. Look at this. No key use other than the key blast, obviously, but you get the pop-up. Oh, a little restart with Beerus, and then I kind of choked the combo here, but 15k, no key moves used. I thought that was pretty good. I just wanted to show off what I was trying to go for with these combos. With that said, let's get into the actual gameplay here. But yeah, with those combos out of the way, we're going to take a second here on the character select screen. Since I didn't get to show this off before, this is the full character select screen, how it looks. Uh, happy I get to show this now. It looks amazing. Well, let's be honest. The character select screen itself, I'm not a fan of. I don't think it's quite done. I think I'd like it more like the old style of games where you click on a character and then you can fully extend and see all the options but definitely let me know down below in the comments what you guys would do with the character select screen or if you keep it this is the team i wanted to start with a lot of the stuff we ended up missing i feel like was the earliest forms of goku and vegeta so the vegeta you see on screen right now is end of z vegeta base not majin vegeta there's a lot of difference here also 18's intro is basically just the cameraman zooming around getting lots of poses i was trying to go for unique interaction i'm not sure if that was was unique but i'll take it this vegeta by the way end of z vegeta he's got some fire stuff this was my first match so don't expect anything like that beerus combo just yet i still got to learn to block i'm sure i'm about to get hit with a million key blasts but at least the game looks good while it's happening man i played sparking zero so much that i don't know bro i just had a great time these bots throwing key blasts is annoying though that's why we got to start it off Ugh. dash in Double fist. That was so sick. This move is crazy. Uh, that was double Gallic Cannon, I believe. And then we are going to... Oh, I'm just going to go for my ultimate. Oh, I wasn't messing around. I wanted to see the Big Bang attack. Step back, 18. Couple Key Blasts. I'm not trying to lower her health too much, though. Um, that was a unique mechanic where you can dash behind. Super sick. And I think I just go for Big Bang right here. Kind of got countered. Look at how sick this looks. Look at it, dude. I wish we had audio on these clips. Unfortunately, the audio, like I said, it bugged out. But Big Bang Attack, look at the impact shot. How it zooms out, shows you Vegeta and exactly where you are on the map. I really like that. All right, and that was Saiyan Spirit, I believe. So that's just the buff move. That's another thing I was really paying attention to in these because I feel like that's also where we missed the most amount of content in this build is the Blast Stock abilities. All right, we're going up. We're going to Super Saiyan 1 here. Now, again, unlike the old games, don't get me wrong. I'm one of those people that I think forms of characters aren't really as exciting as just new characters total. But in this game, there's actually some really unique animations that do make it more worth for me. Uh, when I consider these as new characters that are exciting to play. In fact, some of the coolest stuff is going to be later on with Super Saiyan 1 Goku. Definitely stay around for that. Oh, here we go. First attempt at a basic combo here. Do I even pick it up? No, I drop it. Of course. Of course, bro. Game 1, I gotta have some jitters. Explosive Wave. Wanted to make sure that looks like the old game. Still very good. Get out of the water so I can actually charge up. Oh, we're just doing a final flash here. Had to see how it looks. We made contact, but it's fine. All right, there's Infinity Blaster. Vegeta's Technique. Ah. Oh. Really sick. I think I use Saiyan Spirit again here because I was trying to see as many things as possible. I, I might not have. I already used it, so I wouldn't be surprised if I just go up. Yep. Cosmic Circle. This here is a new move. You can tell I was getting back into the swing of just doing uh, ultimates and stuff. But here's Cosmic Circle. On the ground, doesn't matter. We're still launching it. As soon as it hits, it triggers a cutscene. Hell Zone Grenade looking move, bro. I'm actually not too sure where that's from for Vegeta. It might be a, a T.O.P. thing. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. But it does look sick. All right, now we're Super Saiyan 2. Here we've got Big Bang Attack just in our standard list of moves. We do get Wild Sense. I don't think I use Wild Sense because I've already seen that before. It looks about the same for the old one. Uh, then we can also see that when you're behind moves, that's really cool. When you get full key, look at the level of destruction. I blow away 75% of the mountain that was in my way. And now, because Vegeta was so low, I just wanted to make sure to hit my thing. Do a bit of a combo. Step on his face. Have him down there. Key Blast to keep him locked up. And then, boom. Hit the Infinity Flasher. Dash up. This looks sick. Ugh! 
Look at the combos. All right. And then we just uh, hit him with the final flash. It's just basically final flash with a cool cutscene in front of it. It still looks good. I think that was about all we had, right? Or do I try to land infinite blaster again? No, wait, we're actually going for combos. Hold on, Vegeta's staying in. I just wanted it to be the Vegeta showcase. It's all Vegeta or nothing. Get off of me. We counter his grab, but we don't get into the clash. Step up, land a grab. That's probably it for Gohan. Combo off the grab. Step on his face one more time. And that's going to be Gohan all locked up. We get the win animation. This was crazy. Pathetic, how much stronger you were as a child. That was crazy. Again, one of the things I'm looking forward to most with Sparking Zero is this dialogue, man. Why did Vegeta have to flame him like that? And for the last clean captured footage for this, obviously I still have more, but I want to hit you guys with as much Sparking Zero as possible. So expect that over the course of a few days. Subscribe, stick around. I'm going to be combining this with other footage I captured, just not directly. I wanted to do Bergama. So basically the idea behind this team was just the lesser seen fighters, you know, the ones that maybe didn't get direct capture footage of. So Bergamo, TN, and I think I threw Giro on there. I'm not too sure. This really was the B star. I will say though, Bergamo, kind of nasty in the game. He's got a good key blast on him. He's got good combos too. I don't know if I, I'm able to pull him off here or maybe I'm thinking of another time I play, but look at the key wave in the face. I also try to make sure to get as many of his blast abilities as possible. Combo through, hit him with armor, sweep the leg. Dash behind, mix him up, still a combo. Teleport behind, dash up. Talk to me, Goku. That was a bit of a restand. I tried to throw the key last on there. You know, BT heads know what kind of combo I was going for there. I was trying to have him down on the ground eating key blast. But then I think I go for... Oh, no, I'm, I'm just trying the dash attacks, right? Because I messed it up in the combo. Now we're playing a little bit of defense. Here's the blaster. 10k in the face. Easy. And I believe that's come at me. Yeah, that's, that's come at me. That's up in circle. So that's what that was. A little animation. And then boom, danger knuckle, time to dash in. You know I had to miss. Uh, it's a straight it's a straight line ability, didn't expect that. But we have a lot of boosted stats from come at me. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and run at him again, bro. Why not? I missed it once, I'm not gonna miss it twice. Jump this man, Bergamo. Man, I wish I had audio. So Goku is dead. I think I wanted to do Hal next. So I'm kind of waiting on that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually able to get it. But we've seen all these abilities. It's time for the ultimate. I threw Birder on here because he's another character that I thought like kind of got snubbed. Uh, Pergamo combo here. 12 hits. 13. Make it 15. Ugh, 18 hits for more than a bar. Didn't throw any abilities on there. Again, I could have taken a different path. I did not know that at that time, but I spent a lot of time learning this game. So we do get the ult. Am I going to throw a Howl on there? I don't think I am. I wanted to see the, the trio to danger, bro. I wanted to see the brothers. Look at the way they pop out, by the way. Look at this. Watch this. Oh, they were there the whole time. They're with me in spirits. Danger beam. Looks sick. I love the way they hop out. Although I do feel like they should be their own characters, right? I don't think anybody's paying for the wolves as DLC. So I feel like you got to give them to us for free. Now we're going straight into Gohan. I really should have popped into TN. I'm not sure why I did Gohan. But man, when I tell you that, oh, we, we, double we, uh, uh, you remember that Buruka uh, Tenkaichi? Yeah, Berta didn't expect that. Not the fastest in the universe anymore. And then Beerus comes out. Last character in the game for me. Uh, this is just Masenko, this explosive wave. Not a full beam, though. That's just explosive cannon, I believe. So now I'm just getting... I'm eating Key Blast. Running out of time. I needed to see the moves, bro. I need to see moves. Ugh. 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 Flip behind him. Hit him with a bit of Gohan action. Uh, now we're just going into this ultimate real quick. Don't... This is a basic super combat man. Oh, he countered me. That was sick. I had a dash behind him. Beer's kind of sweating right now. All right, just hit the super combat. Please me, please. Am I waiting for a beam clash? Oh. <laughs> this move does look sick, though. It's a standard super combat me but it looks good. And I miss, which is actually probably for the best, because now I can just level up. Oh, no. Beerus with the cataclysmic orb. Oh, that hurt. Oh, wow. In a combo. That better not hit. I'm going to be retroactively pissed if this hits me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do this to me. Long Beerus animation. Oh my god, it does combo. That is nasty. It killed me. Oh my god. Wow, dude. I'm pissed. Well, that's okay. Like I said, I played Gohan later. So that was Hal. Hal actually does give you a max uh, bar. I'm not sure why you would use come at me. Maybe it's more worth. Hal seems to be way better in my opinion. Step on his face combo. That's a classic. Into the key wave, by the way. Are you seeing the connections? 
after you step on their face, if you do that early enough, you can get the key blast to go off. I wasn't even ready for that to connect. I tried to catch up. I did end up catching up, but now we're going to the TN. Who, by the way, can we pay attention to that? So I'm going to be honest. Maybe I'm showing my ignorance here, but if you watch this combo, you'll see I charge after him with Bergamo. Tell me if this was in the old BT games. I knock him away. I switch into TN and he goes in for an attack. Is that like that normally? Is that just what happens at distance? Could I have comboed off that? Beerus with a nice counter. The Beerus AI just clearly is different. I don't know why. But TN, what are the Earthlings I didn't get to play? You know I had to give them a showcase. Uh, by showcase, I just mean try to get these moves on direct capture. Ooh. Try beam. I will say one thing I couldn't figure out, and I'm sure this is in the game. For some reason, I could not figure out how to extend the Neo try beam multiple times. I just couldn't figure it out. But now I had to get beers with a combo here. Oh, uh, sweep the leg. Oh, crane stance. I wanted to see the crane stance. Watch this. Crane stance. No, wait. Crane stance. Uh, knock him away. That's just the counter you can do after mashing a few attack buttons. <laughs> well done. You've come a long way. Be proud. Personally, TN, I think it's crazy saying that to Beerus, but you're him, brother. Okay, let's shift over to the phone footage now. Let's save the rest of that good stuff for tomorrow's video. Uh, not that this isn't good stuff, by the way. A lot of the best stuff I captured, unfortunately, was on my phone. Uh, which, you know, one way or another, watch. This, you're never going to believe this. Vegeta versus Yamcha, I managed to capture a beam clash, boys. Get hype. Starting with the big bang on Yamcha right away, I needed to see that big bang attack from Super Vegeta. Super Vegeta looks crazy. I want to play Super Trunks so bad. Spirit Breaking Cannon, one of the best best reference moves in the game hit the pose on him hit the pose on him i'm such a fan of this game i can't wait to play to be fair i actually don't know if i hit the i'm super vegeta pose with the three blast ox i don't know if i have time because i just immediately wanted to weave yamcha again some of my best matches were on the phone get comboed by yamcha let him dash away he's kind of moving on me dash behind him no kamehameha stop that Dash forward combo we get a clash Ugh. wiggle the sticks you know i have to win so what i did there is i boosted you'll see after you boost you spend all the key you have. I'm actually stunned right here, so I can't move at all. Yamcha takes advantage of that to cheap out a Kamehameha on me. And I was like, man, if I was ready, I could have hit him with a big bang attack. And I, right here is where I focus my senses. Look, look, you saw how I saw him do a beam behind the building? Big bang attack, we're beam clashing right now. So what you have to do is hold triangle and let it go in the bar. I was panicking, I didn't know, I boosted right away. You see, I spent all my key, we win. Yamcha gets absolutely destroyed along with half of the building he was hiding behind. And I'm still stunned, I have no key. So if they want, they can get a free combo on me right now. So now it's Super Vegeta versus Super Saiyan Goku. This is hype, dude. I was having a blast playing this game. Oh, I was so hype. Goku with a decent combo breaks the rest of that building. I think I'm just going for my ultimate now. Man, it sucks. I wish I did. I'm Super Vegeta. Goku, decent combo, gets behind me, extends it with a teleport, starts charging up. Oh, wait, maybe I do hit it. I go behind him. No time. Key wave. Above him. I drop it. No. Oh, he's got me looking goofy. He's got me looking silly. Explosive wave. I panic. I'm not trying to die here. Goku's kind of playing nuts. Oh no, oh, what's that? Did I get hit by that? No, he's gonna knock my head off. Damn. Oh wait, oh, the, the, the Kamehameha Rasengan? All right, we're still alive though, so that's fine. I've got a lot of bar. Oh, I do hit the I am Super Vegeta. It gives me max key. I immediately go into final flash. I lied to you. I do hit all the blast ox move. I was really paying attention. Final flash, this time with a lot of showmanship though. And it, wow, 20k off rip with I am Super Vegeta. Goku just gonna launch some key blasts. We're fine. We just dodge that. Hit a grab on him. Combo off the grab. Go behind him. Mix him up. I saw him trying to boost me away. Step on his face. Oh, I should have thrown some key blasts there. That was my mistake. The mechanical skill of me is, is horrible. I, I gotta play better. I gotta do better. Dash back in. Sweep the leg. Do we, what, come, come on, show me a real Super Vegeta combo. Oh, Dragon Ball anime, we're teleporting. Sick, get back in his face. Nope. Get another grab in. I was really going for a grab clash. Step on his face again. I love the way that looks. Oh, <laughs> I got laid out, but that's fine. Because did you see the way Hercule just laid Goku out? That's right. I had to throw Hercule on the team. Combos, combos. So yeah, Hercule basically just works like any other fighter in this game. It's honestly a little disappointing, but look at some of this stuff, man. Charging up with the confetti. We do have the iPhone camera attack, this time with a present. Boom, hit the explosion on Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta with the face in the background. It's just unfortunate that Goku, like Hercule can like fly and stuff without a jetpack. I guess it's fine though. So now I'm just doing combos. I had to hit Vegeta with a little teleport stuff. I'm trying to do more stuff. You can throw grenades. Forgot you could throw grenades. Throwing rocks now. And now it's time for Majin Buu to get out here. Oh. All right, back up. Green backdash, gotta get out of there. 
Majin Buu combos. I'm, I'm mimicking shadow boxing. And then Majin Buu does most of the damage. Other than this, I'm not sure what else I, I... I don't really remember what else I do with Hercule, but that's an example of, like, Hercule being just like other characters. Like, you can do blink combos and stuff. It doesn't seem super unique. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's more unique stuff with Hercule. But that's kind of how it feels. Um, and now I just, I go into Krillin. Why not? Krillin comes out. Damn, oh my god, he's kind of cooking. Had to see Krillin again. Uh, I do think we explored most of what he had to offer before. But look at that bending Kamehameha, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that is so stupid. Again, it's not even real bending Kamehameha. That's just how beams work in this game with auto-correction. They don't, they don't swing with the beam. They just swing after the beam comes out. Here, I'm just letting Vegeta kind of mess me up. I'm not hitting anything. I got 30 seconds left. I'm just getting bullied by Vegeta. Blink it. You can still time your blinks in this game. You just got to be different. Vegeta, j damn, let me go, bro. He was cooking me. Oh, my God. Hold on. Do I hit Solar Flare? No, I don't think I do. I wanted to see the Destructor Disc again. 20 seconds left. I had to see it. Oh, my God, Vegeta. What are you doing? Here, take this combo. How about this? How about this, Vegeta? Eh, eat it up. Eat it up. Yeah, take all the damage. I got 10 seconds left. You're getting your ass beat for 10 seconds. And once again, the Destructo Disc comes out. Had to see it for the one time again. That's the only time I played Krillin this entire weekend. <laughs> I went to Anime Expo just to play Sparking Zero, and I didn't even get to really enjoy Krillin, bro. Just, just the one, because I wanted to see his win animation. I don't remember if I got that before, but... All right, now let's take a mini break from the footage, because this was actually recorded by somebody I met at Anime Expo, just Cyber on Twitter. And I was like, hey, you want to record some footage for the channel? He's like, sure. You know, he, uh, he knew the channel and stuff like that. And he actually captured something really cool. Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta both have moves that you are like forms for them. Like Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken is just you can activate Kaioken with Blue Goku. It looks great, though. It goes for the same for Vegeta, though. And look at how good, so this is Kaioken with Goku. Look at how good it looks when he charges, but then Just Cyber also hits the ultimate. I didn't even know it looked like this. Look at that! It activates with the Kaioken too, and it looks amazing. So this is Goku Blue's like actual true ultimate. Kaioken, God Kamehameha. Look at the way the aura blows back and everything. Obviously he stays in Kaioken as well, and it just looks so sick. If this was a character, this would be my favorite character. Look at the way the Kaioken stays in on the dash in, too. Just Cyber, thank you for the footage. You killed it with the Goku Blue Kaioken stuff. Unfortunately, he doesn't keep it for the win animation. That would that would make him the peak character in the game for me. Y'all are sleeping on Goku Blue Kaioken. All right, back to the footage. And for our final match of the video, this was actually my girlfriend playing. So I'm actually on camera here. And uh, I may be saying that uh, just so, uh, you know, y'all know, y'all know uh, my skills didn't reverse. It was her first time playing. Be easy on her. Um, but, you know, I, I just thought this is also an opportunity to see some cool stuff. There is some cool stuff that happens here. Like, I believe we see what it's like to get hit with a solar flare. And also what it's like when God Vegeta, who just has a crazy busted move, just starts attacking you, man. This guy is a menace. Vegeta AI for some reason on this build was crazy. Good dash up though from 18. Key blast combo from Vegeta. Standard dash behind, 14 hits. You can combo up that, nice. Almost 10K and you can definitely run up and get some more on that too. Uh, uh, important thing to note, Androids can't charge key and in this game, the way you move around can be a little key intensive. Um, it costs a lot to do your key dash. Um, so that's why you can see her struggling with the, she's key dashing there and then she can't charge up. Uh, so Android is actually probably not a very beginner friendly character. Although I was talking with um, another YouTuber in line and they said they had figured some stuff out on how to move a little better. So, you know, I, we didn't get to talk about that much because obviously I couldn't watch him play. But hey, still some some crazy stuff that might be coming out there. Vegeta just abusing Key Wave. It's getting absolutely disastrous here. We do have Android Barrier that we could go into. I'm just commentating this now. Vegeta goes into God form. He's done messing around. This is where it just gets crazy. Nice counter, though, by 18. And here's the move. Look at this. Oh, never mind. That was like Saiyan Spirit. My bad. I thought that was a similar. I thought that was a similar technique. This is it. Tell me you're dodging this move, bro. You're not. Because it also goes into a cutscene. And it tracks hard as hell. Blows 18 away. That's 18 down. Who comes in next? I think it's 17. Big fan of the Andrew. Oh, no, no, Broly. There's God Vegeta. Another counter dash up into a break. Let's go. God Vegeta versus Broly. You're watching the Broly movie. And Broly, of course, does win. You're going to need to step it up to blue, Vegeta. Charge up all the way to the ultimate. You're not. Look at this. How cheap. It crashes through the mountain. I was lying to you guys when I said I'm not sure if you can destroy that. You definitely can destroy parts of it. And he's doing it again. And it crashes through the mountain again. But no animation that time. I'm not sure if you have to get hit by the first part. But that is insane. 
It was insane. I was watching that move. I was like, wow, I'm actually glad I'm not going up against God Vegeta myself. It's a little much for me. So now God Vegeta is basically the God Vegeta showcase at this point. <laughs> but we do see gigantic crash again. It's a short dash move. I'm not sure if it hits. It does. It's just going to be a brutal beatdown on Vegeta. <laughs> Man, this game looks so sick. <laughs> <laughs> this game looks so sick. I w I'm not going to lie. I'd probably make those same sound effects anyway. But if we had the sound effects, we could have Broly say it too. So now we're just launching some key blasts. God Vegeta back on the offensive doing some combos. We get a blink. He just blinks right behind. The offense is never ending. Blink behind him. Are we going to get a KO here? Are we going to get a KO? Oh, no way. Are we, are we leveling up? Oh, we're going Super Saiyan. So this is Broly's animation to transform into a Super Saiyan. I'm not sure if the animation would be different going all the way to max. Maybe? I don't know. And then for Broly's ultimate, we hit Gigantic Ball. I'm not sure if it hit. Oh, I think it goes straight up here. So Gigantic Ball actually can just go straight up. It's nice that way. And Gohan gets cooked. He's seen this before with the other Broly. Who, by the way, is still not announced for Sparking Zero. When is iconic OG Broly getting in the game? Gohan standing, launches some attack. Little dash around, try to get away. But I think it's just over. Gohan cooks too, too much. Broly's down. The last character coming is 17. And then it's just God, God Vegeta versus 17. Oh, no. It's going to crash through the rock again, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all this move, man. It's all this move. I thought I thought for sure we got hit by a solar flare in this. Maybe I'm lying. Am I, am I just lying? Here we go. Super electric strike. I actually didn't get to show that off too well in my last one, but that's how it looks against a standard opponent. Another super electric strike on the ground. OTG for the 10K. And then Trunks comes out. Maybe we do see the solar flare. Does Trunks have solar flare? And wait for it and wait for it and maybe not. And Trunks combos. Got a sword. He's got a sword. If he does have it, he's holding off. Decent Trunks combo. Android Barry to get him off. There it is, Solar Flare. Ah, it's blinding my eyes. <laughs> my eyes. You can see 17 was just flying away, flicking his wrist, trying to get Key Blast to stop. But I'm pretty sure Trunks has this in the bag. Six seconds, though. I'm not sure he can get the KO in six seconds. Wait, combos? Wait, hold on. Oh, he actually did. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. We'll end it on Trunks' outro. That was a good fight. I've learned something for this. Lose. Again, though, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel because I have even more direct capture footage and even more phone capture footage. And when I tell you that the next video is going to have the best move in the game captured, that's not a joke. I found the coolest looking move in the game, at least to me, and I want to show it to you guys. So tune in tomorrow or whatever. Stay subscribed. Like the video. Subscribe. Best move coming soon.